So today we're going to be talking about telescopes and why exactly you shouldn't be buying one. Why you shouldn't be buying a telescope? Well, first of all, why? I don't know, because they're too expensive. No, seriously. You're just starting off and you're a total noob in the whole astronomy thing. It's gonna to lead to a gut full of frustration. Now look, there's people out there who've got telescope classes and they talk about eyepieces and finder scopes and corrector plates. You know what? You don't need that grief, really. First thing you wanna do is actually look at the sky. That's what it's all about. Forget about these things. Forget about them. What you wanna do is get yourself a pair of binoculars. These are great for looking around. Set up time of about uh, a second. One, done, all set up, all ready to go. You are ready to do some observing. So once you get yourself a pair of these, get yourself a nice app on your phone, something like Star Walk 2 or Sky Safari. Sky Safari is the bomb, really, really good. So what can you see with a pair of binoculars? Well, a hell of a lot. If you look with your naked eye, you could probably pick out about, say, oh, no, three to 5,000 stars on a clear night away from city lights. Pair of binoculars, millions. Absolute millions of stars. With this gives you a nice wide field of view and you can see star clusters, you can see nebulae, you can see the dark dust lanes of the Milky Way galaxy and everything in between. And the moon, the moon's pretty good through a pair of these as well, gives you a nice wide field of view. My main reasons for getting a pair of binoculars is one, they're cheap. You can pick up something on eBay or even your local cashies for a pretty good price. There's gonna be some amateur astronomers out there who's gonna say, but is this the right kind of prism? Blah, 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 blah. You know what, who gives a stuff? As long as you can see through these things and you get a nice view through them, use them. You can worry about all that technical crap later on. And if you really wanna get technical, get yourself one of these things that goes on the end of it. That little flip of the gibbet there helps you mount your binoculars onto a tripod. And once you get on a tripod, it becomes a little bit more steady, which is the idea. Keep it nice and steady, find your targets, get to know the sky with your app, your binoculars, banana lounge, an esky full of your favorite beverages, bag of chips, and start exploring the universe. If you're still at it after about six months, uh, maybe a year afterwards, then look at getting yourself a telescope. Not before, because it'll just be confusion, frustration, and you'll give up. And that's exactly what I don't want you to do. This journey, into the cosmos is a lifelong journey and you really want to stick with it because it's highly fascinating and it's rewarding. And if you're young, it could be a great career path. And it all started from a pair of binoculars and an app on your phone. So until next time, clear skies and hail Sagan. Catch ya. One more thing before I sign off. Don't forget to click the link wherever it is. So click the link, subscribe to uh, Perth and Sky, and you'll get more of this. Maybe not in my backyard.